Hello, good evening, Jeffrey. You are the only one who's connected. <laughs> really hope you have had a great day. And tell me, how was your day? You ready for today's session? Hello, teacher. Uh, I am fine. <laughs> I am here, really. Okay, okay. So you are doing good. Are you eating? <laughs> Thank you, teacher. All right, great. So welcome. Today we have, uh, this is session number six, and we're going to uh, study, you know, a new topic. But before we do that, I would like to go over some stuff we did yesterday, adding that we have an activity pending, which is our stories, okay? So welcome, Hosman, welcome, Evelyn, and welcome, Andrea to our session. How was your day? Anything that you would like to share with me? I don't know, maybe questions from the platform. Emma, how are you doing? Um, good. And uh, you are saying something about the platform. And I remember that I asked you something yesterday about it, but can you hear me very well because yeah. I'm appreciating Which one is it, Emma? Because if you text me during the day, um, let me see. Uh, mm -hmm. it, or can you remind me exactly what the question was so we can discuss this as a whole class? Maybe somebody else, you know, um, what might have the same question. What time? Mm -hmm. I asked you yesterday during the class. I didn't send you a message, but oh. it's about it's about the platform, and I don't know what happened because it's a part when we use wish and that for things, and watch and that for people, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure that I did in the correct form the answer and. I don't know what happened in that part. Mm -hmm. It's about Johnny Depp. It's mm -hmm. uh, Johnny Depp starts a movie. I don't remember exactly mm -hmm. what it, it mm -hmm. said about the movie, mm -hmm. but I did it. And I will tell you a message with the screen mm -hmm. of that mm -hmm. part. Mm -hmm. A screenshot. Uh, <laughs> I will enter again right. of the platform, but not I the class. I can see, no problem. Yeah, you can tell me maybe exactly which uh, is the exercise that you are referring to and I can display or I can share my screen and we can talk about it, that's one thing. And based on what I have understood, Emma, you are talking about relative clause, like who, that, uh, what, or uh, where. I mean, those are relative uh, pronouns, right? If that is the case, or if that the case about why you asked yesterday about ed or ing endings with the adjectives, is that your question? Or can you tell me like exactly the, um, I don't know, the exercise you are referring? Because I remember yesterday I shared something about this. Let me see if I can get it right now. Let's see. Is the, let me, yeah, I got it right here. Give me a second. Is that about this? Look at this one. Is that about this? No. Or yes. Emma? No. No? It, no. It's the next. Next one. Okay. So you are talking about it, it's relative number, clause, right? It, yeah. It's number. Is it there? Some, I think. Uh-huh. Maybe this one, about uh, this one? Yes, this one. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You need death. Yes, that. Oh, okay. Have you heard of, of Pirates of the Caribbean? Yes, it is an action movie. It stars uh, Johnny Depp. And what did you write? Uh, yes, it's an action movie that he, that stars Johnny Depp. 
Yes, it's an action movie. That starts uni. Mm. And I tried with no. wish. It's to... an action movie. But then, yeah, we're talking about the movie, right? And have you tried um, adding that it starts that, I mean, you need to use the subject it. Have you tried with the subject? Because you, you said that stars. So I can see that you are missing the, the subject. Have you tried with the subject? And what does it say when you try with the subject? No, I didn't try because the form is without the subject because we have that in mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, that's why we don't use the subject exactly. again because exactly. we, we use them in the first part. Yeah, I see. I see your point. Yeah, you're right because the, the intention is to omit, to delete, right? The the subject. Okay, that's correct. But then, and how do you use, how do you enter the verb? Do you say that that star or that stars with an S? I tried with the S at the end. It starts with, with the S. Yes. The stars, mm, but then that must be the answer. That it should be the answer. So can you share the screen? I want to see it. Maybe if you, if you, I know we're not, we're not yet on that topic, but I do want to uh, maybe go over that. Can you go ahead and share the screen? Can you do that right now or, or you can't? Yes, I will answer mm -hmm. to All right. Okay, do it, please. Do it. I want to see it. I really want to uh, clarify that now that you ask. I want to see how you are doing it. And are you using capital letters, Emma, on the, uh, the actress name? Johnny capital letters. Yes, exactly. Yep. And, you, <laughs> and you use a period at the end of the sentence? Period? Yes, like I always. No period. spaces, no spaces in the middle? any space oh, i want to see it yes because it, it must be okay yes because we have two options we have which or we have that and i try with both both mm -hmm. let me see mm -hmm. number and do three. you do you place a comma before the relative pronoun before which do you place a comma or before do you oh. do that no no commas, no, no commas, okay. okay. No commas. Uh -huh. Let me see, I'm going to... Uh -huh. It's number... I think the one you, you want to share is, let's see, that'll be 3.9. Uh -huh. Can you see it? Let me see. Let me see. Yes, I can. Yes. So. Yes, it's an action movie. Uh -huh. <laughs> that. Start. Oh, I know there's a mistake. Where? Uh, the letter T, because we're not, re we're not referring to the, to the, to the yeah, it's it just it starts. Like, okay, that was my mistake. Does it work? Thank you. All right. Yes, yeah. yes. And, and the, the little detail was that there's a difference between a start and a star, right? Because a star refers to que el el protagonista, la estrella. And a star with the T is the verb to begin, right? That's the difference, right? Okay, good. Thanks so much for asking. Uh, guys, how are you doing? Angie, how are you doing? Are you ready for today's session? Yeah? Yes. <laughs> how are you? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, well, uh, thank you so much. Guys, do you have any, any question? Thank you, Emma, for asking. Do you have any specific question from the platform so we can talk about it right now?
No questions. Okay. I can see you guys have, you make this game easy. <laughs> I'm telling you, yeah, it's just an hour. I'm glad when, you know, somebody comes with a question like uh, Emma just did, and then so we can discuss, and that's the, that's the idea. All right, but then um, today we, ha we had a pending activity, right? And I want to give you the chance to anybody who would like to start sharing the stories, okay? Past. It is. I think some of you sent me the homework, but then I want to hear it because it's pronunciation. So when you pronounce it, that's the point. So who wants to start? Okay. okay. Jose. Jose. Yeah, go ahead, Jose. And this is our homework. While Jose is reading, we guys pay attention to the EDs, okay? And then we we provide what we hear from him. Go ahead, Jose. Okay, I'm not going to read really fast. I will try to read slowly because I cannot read faster. <laughs> okay. And the name of, the, of the, his, the story is, it was a dream. Our friend Alejandro wanted to go to a placebo concert because he liked their music very much. He asked himself, where can I buy the ticket? A friend answered him that he could buy them at a shopping center. Alejandro needed money, so he worked at Nueva Condomina last Saturday because the local team Real Murcia played there. He won enough money to buy the ticket, but his parents said, if you want to go to the concert, you must study more than last week. So Alejandro studied every day and went to the concert. That special night on the way there, he stopped to fill in the tank at the petrol station and at last he arrived at the concert. He was very happy. He smiled and clapped all night. He looked like a little baby and he kisses everybody around. Ring, ring, he wake up. And All that's right. right, yeah, thank you so much. I was imagining that story, you know, what was happening. And I know you said that you were not gonna read fast, but you were doing really good. Actually, I tried to, um, write some of the verse while you were reading and thank you so much for you know using your um let's see uh intonation and also your pronunciation because the point was that right that you guys used the ed ending uh, according to the sound and i can see and i can hear jose you applied it okay so let's uh, do something guys based on what Jose just read. Can you open your mic and provide me with some words you heard that were pronounced in the past form with ED or maybe send it on the chat, please. I'll give you one minute. Mm -hmm. And then Jose will confirm if you, if you said it or not. Okay, one minute, go ahead, please. Kissed, says Emma. Yes, I heard that as well. What else? Kissed, what else? I. He said many. Uh, studied, Evelyn, yes. Okay, yeah. good. Studied. Yeah, what else? What yeah. else? Okay, Jose. Yeah, he's confirming. What else? He said many, many more. What did you hear, guys? Come on. Uh-huh. Needed, okay. Jose, did you say knitted? Yes. Yes, you did, right? What else? What else? What else? There were more, many more. Come on, come on, guys. I'm counting the one I wrote down. Uh huh. What's one? What did you What did you hear from Jose? What else did you hear? 
Okay, let me share uh, what I heard because I'm just, I wrote 11. Look, wanted, kissed, answered, needed, worked, played, studied, stopped, arrived, smiled, clapped, and kissed. Maybe you said others, Jose, but those are the ones that I heard you pronounced. So good job, good job, okay? I, I like it, all right. So that's what I want to hear, guys. Thank you so much, Jose. Jose, can you choose the next person? Because if I uh, say volunteers, maybe they're not going to choose the next person. No, I, I don't know if they are. Ah, Angie wants to participate. Yeah, Angie wants to participate. Go ahead, Angie. And class, the rest, be attentive, okay? Be attentive and write the verse you hear, okay? I'm going to, just, I'm going to choose one to provide you know, the verse Angie said. Says. Okay, go ahead, Angie. Okay. At last summer, I went to San Francisco to visit to visit my parents, and I arrived on time, but suddenly not my baggage. Because I did a stop in Los Angeles, and unfortunately, my baggage was over there. That's why suddenly, sadly, I used the same clothes for two days. Until, until fortunately the baggage arrived to San Francisco. After that, I went to many places like Golden Gate, Golden Gate Bridge, Science and Art Museum, Treasure Island, Bay Bridge, Bay Bridge, Girardelli Factory, etc. The back flight to El Salvador, strangely, the plane moved a lot when it passed through a turbulence area. And I did back to life when miraculous the plane touched land. Okay, thank you so much. Before I start asking your partners, Angie, what the verbs, uh, and which ones are the verbs they listened, I want to thank you for using adverbs. Okay, I heard the adverbs that we practiced yesterday. And that was really good. So thank you for, for using them. And you used them correctly. That's what I like the most. Now, uh, what verse did you listen to? Let's see, Christina. What did you listen to? What verse in the past form, ED? Okay, maybe Christina's not here. And what about Evelyn? Evelyn? Husband says played. Mm -hmm. Hi, listen. Visit. Visit, okay. What else did you listen to? Used. Used. Yes, and I think. All right, okay. Angie, can you confirm? Was that what you said? Did you use, did you just use, did you say use? Or not? Angie? Hello? I think, I don't know, something went wrong with the, with the connectivity. I don't know if it is my connectivity or if it is Angie's connectivity. Can you listen to me, Hosman? Yes, I can. All right, so thank you so much. Yeah, I think it was Angie's connectivity. I wanted to say something. Yes, I heard visited too. I heard arrived, I heard uh, moved. And then um, there was a mistake on the verb visited because she said visited, but then I don't know if you could hear that she said we went to visit it. And then when we use the verb in the second, as a second verb, we don't say, uh, we don't say it in the past form. For example, if I say, we went to visit, we don't say we went to visit it. So you don't, you don't say um, the second verb in the past form. That's not, that's not, that's not possible. Okay, we're gonna say this to her when she comes back, she disconnected. 
Okay, anybody else who would like to go next and read? Gustavo, go ahead, please. Questions or you wanna share? Uh, can I share? Of course, Gustavo. Okay. I, I found it in internet, but I think it's the, it's about you, you talking about to search. Yeah, yeah. Can please. you see the screen? Yes, yes, I, yes, okay. I can. Uh, the little dog who enjoyed pizza. One day, a little dog walked down the street. People called him Henry. Henry wanted some pizza. He smelled pizza from a restaurant. He smelled very good. He wanted to eat pizza. To eat the pizza, he knocked the door on the door and asked the chef. The chef frowned and refused. Henry decided to prepare pizza at home. Henry poured, poured it and mixed it and measured the ingredients. Then he cooked the tomatoes and he sliced the cheese and olives. When the pizza appeared ready, Henry shared some with other dogs. The pizza burned a little, but it still smelled good. The dogs thanked him and they agreed that the pizza tasted delicious. The chef learned about Henry Pisa. The chef cried because everybody admired Henry Pisa. The chef apologized to Henry. Then they all lived a happy life to get a happy life together. Thank you so much. Uh, Gustavo, don't uh, stop sharing. Leave it there, please. Okay. Um, thank you so much. I want to uh, I want to go over this story like really quick. And this is exactly what I wanted you to do. And I want to thank Gustavo for bringing this story. As you can see, this story, guys, has many endings like Gustavo was, you know, um, what reading it. And we have many verbs with the ED sound. And um, I want to ask Gustavo and to everybody who's listening to me to exaggerate a little bit more. For example, um, one day a little dog walked, walked. Remember that the walked, this is the, this verb is pronounced with T because it's the last sound is K. So K walked. And then we have called D wanted or wanted smelled so remember gustavo in class these ending sounds because they make the difference so we say the, the next is uh, knocked on the door knocked asked frowned refused decided yeah. it. so i want to ask this i try to exaggerate a little bit more when you exaggerate mm -hmm. it sounds really good and don't be afraid, don't be like, don't feel, I don't know, um, as if you're gonna ask people wanna say, ah, he's really exaggerated. No, because the language needs this exaggeration. So whenever you're speaking, uh, try to exaggerate a little bit. Henry decided to prepare pizza at home. He reported D and mixed T and measured D, the ingredients, and then he cooked. T as in tango, and then you continue. So basically, uh, try to exaggerate the T and the sounds, okay? So that's for next time. Okay. And thank you so much okay. for, for reading it, okay? So who wants to go next? Who wants to share? Thank you so much. If you thank can you. share that story to the group on WhatsApp, that'll be awesome. So who wants okay. to go next? Uh, Christina. Christina, go ahead, Christina. And Angie is back. Angie, hey, what happened to you? I think you texted me on WhatsApp, but I couldn't answer because I'm here. So thank you for your story, Angie. We appreciate it. I was telling them that there's one time when, when you say went to, 
I don't remember. Went to the and then visit it exactly. When you say went to visit it, it's not it's not correct because um after the verb, I mean if the verb is a second verb, we don't apply the ed sounds, we don't say it in the oh, past, okay. we say we only do this in the in the main verb, okay. So basically okay. that one is when to visit. But if you say the visit okay. as a main verb, then we say visited. For example, I visited my family yesterday. But then if, if you say okay. I went to visit my family yesterday, you don't say visited in that in that specific scenario. Okay, um, let's see, and thank you so much for your story. Okay. Now uh, we're gonna listen to Christina. Christina, go ahead. Uh, um, on the story, what is the meaning and um, the expression? Knock, uh, knock it on. Knocked. Uh, when you go to a door, you knock, like, uh -huh. like, like the song. Na na knocking heaven door. This is a song from the Games of Roses. Knocking, knocking on heaven doors. Knock. So if you knock, it's like oh. this sound. Of, when you, ah, okay. That's Thank knock. you. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Any anybody else who wants to uh, read the story? No, okay, but I do thank you, those who did it, okay, appreciate it. Andrea, okay, go ahead, you're, you're the last one, Andrea, thank you. This is my story. When I was a child, I went to par with my parents. I remember it was fun. My dad helped me feed the bird. I played with kids I didn't know. I wanted, no, perdón, perdón. I walked all over, all over the park, looking for more birds to feed. Then, in the afternoon, I started to rain. No, no, I perdón. <laughs> then, in the afternoon, I start I started to rain. I really enjoyed that day with my parents. Okay, so you really enjoyed that day with your parents. Thank you so much. And I think some of the verse that I heard, who wants to volunteer? What did you hear from Andrea's um, story? Any verb, any, any action verb that you listened, applying these AED sounds or ending, guys? I want to say something. I heard I have helped, stayed, walked, and then I think enjoyed, started. Oh, started? Was that started? I heard stayed. <laughs> okay. And what and how do you pronounce this word? I wanna I wanna send it. Let me see. Let's see, give me, give me a second. Okay, started, enjoyed. Okay, good. Thank you, Hosma. Yeah, I heard enjoyed. I sent forward, walked, right? Walked. So remember, Andrea, walked. T, -t, 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 -t as in tango. Walked, okay? So I walked around. I walked, you know, a lot. Walked. So thank you so much. Uh, well, we're going to stop right here with the stories. I just wanted to close this, uh, you know, uh, session with this pronunciation. Bird. And then we have uh, what? Mm -hmm. How do how do we how do we say also in English? <laughs> First one is is the bird, right? The bird is like the dove flying. And then how do you say also? How do you say barba? And how do you say cerveza? The last one, like todos sabemos, give me a beer, like very cold one. Oh no, aquí todo lo veo bien tranquilo, bien santo. You don't like, you don't like going out, right? Um, there's always a chance for a beer. No solo Christian people are aquí, ya me van a bloquear de aquí. Okay, I, I'm saying this because it's important not to um, mispronounce this word. Bird, like a pájaro is like bird. 
bird. And then uh, la va el oso es bear. La barba es beard. Con D al, al final. Con sonido. Y la cerveza es beer. Nada más. Beer. Beer. Ok. Entonces, ahí hay que tener un poquito de cuidado en ese sentido, Andrea. Yo escuché beer. Dije yo, hoy sí, dije yo, vamos a tomar beers. Dije yo, I want beer. Ok, uh, beer, beard, bear, and bird. Como el primero del pájaro es corto y el sonido bird, bird, bear, beard, beer. Ok. Sonidos muy parecidos, ¿ok? I invite you to double check this and practice it, ¿ok? Así que ahí les quedan. Hay muchas palabras que son bien, bien conocidas, ¿ok? Así que just wanna, we need to say that, right? So, now, let's see. We have a new topic today, guys. And today's topic is adjectives, ¿ok? And this is um, what, I, what we started talking about yesterday. And this is participles as adjectives, okay? And we have this, which is um, ed and ing adjectives. So look at this one. I want to start with these examples. We use this adjective to describe how we feel. So we have different types of adjectives. We have ing adjectives and we have ed adjectives, okay? And this one, uh, the ones that end with ed, Describe how we feel. For example, today I felt amazed. Amazed, ED. I was so bored. I wasn't confused. So as you can see, these three adjectives, they end with ED. And they are only guys expressing, you know, a feeling or something temporary. How we feel, okay? What happened if I write a... Uh, for example, if I say, oh, what is the difference between I am born, just to illustrate the idea, uh, and I am boring, what's the difference? Do you know? Or if I say, um, what? I am amazed. Uh, amazed. Versus, uh, I am amazing. Is there any difference? Raise your hand, please, and talk to me. What do you know about this? Does the meaning change, or is it the same thing? Mm -hmm. Anybody, guys, do you know about this? What do you know about it? Teacher, I think the meaning is different because when the ending is with ed the meaning is that if you feel something and for example when you say i am amazing is that you are talking about you that you are amazing thank you so much yeah i agree with that any other idea All right, uh, let me explain a little bit on this. Well, you're right. When we have a ING, it's because that's the way something is and that will cause a feeling, okay? So ING, for example, if you are boring, I can change that because that's the way you are, okay? If I am boring, you can be the nicest person. You can be uh, telling jokes. But if I am boring, you, you won't make me change. Okay, that's the way I am. Okay, so, but if this class is boring, look at, look at this. If this class is boring, you might be bored like this. It's something temporary, something that is uh, just a feeling, okay? But the ing is how something is. It's basically, it's not temporary. It's just saying that's the way it is. And this thing or person or situation will cause, you know, an effect in other things. For example, 
if um, a movie is exciting, that like you are watching a thrill, a thrilling or a thriller, whatever it is, or action movies or science fiction, and then if that is exciting, you are excited because you're watching the movie. So exciting is that what causes a feeling. And, but then if you are excited with ED, is something temporary. Let's think about other adjectives that ends with ED and that ends with ING. What others do you guys know? Can you tell me any other example that you can maybe recall and share with me? So we can uh, go over this. Mm -hmm. Anything else that you remember or maybe any adjective you have seen, oh, this is ED and this is ING, then how do I distinguish this? Anybody? There's one that is really common. And this one is, I don't know if you can, uh, let's see if somebody sent. You know, so now I, have, I don't have anything. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds for you to think about, and then I'm gonna give you some other examples. Hi, Emma, what do you have? I don't have exam example, but I want to ask you something. Uh -huh. It's about, what did you say? Because I didn't hear you very well about when we use ED, we D at the end, and we, we use ING at the end. What's mm -hmm. the difference? Okay, I'm gonna give you one example and then you tell me what you understand from this. Um, interested, ED, and interesting, okay? So when do I use interested and when do I use interesting? Now, let me uh, give you this example. Let's imagine, Emma, you are an interesting person. You are interesting because your personality is great, you are really smart, you are friendly, so you are interesting, okay? And then if you are interesting, me, myself, I am interested in, you know, getting to know you. I am interested in talking to you. I am interested in what? Maybe being your friend. So interested is a feeling, it's temporary. But uh, if it is ING, it's the way something is. And this thing might cause a feeling or an, or an what effect on others. Okay, ING, describe how something is. And, but ED, describe feelings, something temporary. Now let's think about other examples. I can see Jeffer sent shock. Let's, let's say Jeffer um, is watching a movie and then the movie is shocking, right? So when you're watching the movie, you how do you feel? You feel shocked at the moment. So that's a feeling, that's a reaction. So ED, temporary feelings most of the time. And then e, like ING, it's, basically how something is and this causes a feeling or reaction okay i don't know if that gives you an idea can you think of other examples maybe yes i think i will tell you and you can tell me if sure. it's different or I'm not sure 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 yeah for id um interested to have a meeting with a friend and with ING um, I'm an interesting person interesting so, person yes interesting person yes yes so let's put it this way the meeting can be interesting the meeting cannot be interested the meeting can be interesting because you are talking about 
good topics, okay? Something that really, you know, catches your attention. So that's interesting because the meeting is interesting. You are interested, okay? If we put the, this example of interesting or interested, but then we have many more adjectives and I want to go over some others, okay? And we have a conversation here, but then um, I, I don't want to go to that yet because I think I have some other examples or maybe we can talk about this in the conversation okay so we can illustrate a little bit better in how this works but before we talk about this conversation where we're going to watch other examples I want you to answer this question and only open your mic and talk to me so the first question is what is your favorite genre of movies and I want you to tell me or tell the class when did you last go to the movies and have you ever read the book prior watching the movie? And if, if that's all, can you explain which movie was this? Okay, I will give you um, maybe three minutes for you to brainstorm ideas and then you want to share it with the whole class. And then we're gonna see more, more adjectives, okay? So let's start thinking, okay, as of now. So I think time is time is up. Who wants to share uh, the answers, guys? There are fifteen of you connected. So, and I know some of you participate, but some of you are just listeners. But then, uh, don't feel that you are only a listener. Feel that you are part of this class and provide your ideas. Your ideas are welcome, and we want to hear you. Okay, so open your mic and try to answer these questions. Okay, who wants to do it? Anybody, Emma, would you like to try? Yes, I would like that. Just give me a second. Okay, good. G? Can you tell me what's the correct pronunciation of the last word? The last one. Uh, the one. first question. Oh, oh, genre, genre. The genre, genre is like el género. But genre, genre refers to movies and, and music. You don't say gender for this, right? Gender is female or male, but then for this type of things is genre. I know there's no A ah in this uh, spelling, but then the, the pronunciation is genre, genre, okay? So that's the way you pronounce it, okay? So go ahead, share whatever you have or try to improvise and, and complete your ideas, okay? Okay, well, I don't have a favorite genre of movie because I don't used to watch a lot of kind of movies, but I think the best option for me is fiction movies. It's interesting because you can think a lot of kind of things and you are not pretty sure about it. So it's, it's different. And the second one, I went to the cinema last month I went to, because I wanted to watch Spider-Man No Way Home with my friends. And it was, it was interesting, I like it. The third one, have you ever read the book? No, I have never read the book where you're watching a movie. I don't used to do that because I just read movies like, things of the university and maybe some novels 
that I like that, but I don't used to read about movies and things like that. Okay, thank you so much. Well, sometimes, let me tell you, Emma, that sometimes the books are better than the movies. Sometimes, okay. Uh, because you can use your imagination, you know, to the fullest. And then maybe you might get disappointed when you see the movies, or it might be the other way around. But thank you so much for sharing, okay? Appreciate your ideas. Okay, next person, please. One more, open your mic and please talk. Who wants to participate? Can I choose? So, yeah, yeah, Emma, please do so. <laughs> I feel as if I'm going to sleep. Come on, guys. This is only an hour. You have, we only have 15 minutes. And then you, you want to speak, speak. Emma, choose one, please. I like to hear Reina Ponce. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're talking about the genre, right? Genre. Yeah, yeah of movies. The genre. The genre movie, I don't know. I'm not sure about what is the name of the genre, but I, I really like the, the movies about Marvel. And for example, the movie like, like I guess that everyone see right now, that it was uh, No Way Home. I really like it and I think that it was the best movie that I ever see. And um, when do you last go to the movies? Uh, to be honest, I don't remember, but I guess that it was the last year in December. And have you ever read the book prior watching the movie? No, but I I did it before to to watch the movie. So uh, I read uh, all the books of Harry Potter. You know, I, I had that feeling, Reina, that you were going to say about Harry Potter. Because Harry Potter, you know, it has a series of books, right? And then a friend of mine, she bought all the books and she said that she loves the book. And then she said that when she saw the movies, she was expecting for more. I mean, I have never read the books from Harry Potter, but they said that they, they are really good. I think I have to read. How many are, are there? Uh, right. they are seven seven, seven. yeah but, well there are many yes but you really enjoy it because you know how it's the history so mm -hmm. it's it's something that i i really recommend okay i will try to read it in english then to practice <laughs> <laughs> all right good thank you so much yes and then um well thank you for sharing Let's take a look at the next idea, next uh, activity here. Let's see. And I need maybe two people who haven't participated to read this conversation. Who wants to do it? Raise your hand, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I will have Christina and who else? One more. Christina and... All right, thank you so much then. Go ahead, Christina, you start. Um, do you want to see a movie tonight? Mm -hmm. Maybe, let's play. How about the new James Bond film? I hear it's really exciting. Actually, the last time was boring. What about the movie Bass? based on a Stephen King new novel. I don't know. His books are usually fascinating, but I, I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It looks good. That's fine with me. She's a wonderful actress. All right, thank you so much, ladies. I appreciate it. Yes, so we have this uh, conversation about movies, and I want you to uh, tell me, guys, which are the adjectives you find here? Which adjective do you identify? Mm -hmm. In the first line, do we have any adjective? 
or not? No, right? In the second one? No. Exciting. No. Oh, in the third one, exciting. Okay. Exciting. Okay, very good. What else? Boring. 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 Okay, what else do we have? Next one. And then we have. Uh -huh. Fascinating. Fascinating. Okay, very good. And then what do we have? Interested. Interested. Very good. Yeah, this is the next one. And then do we have any other one? With the Wonderful. 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 Yes, wonderful is an additive. And but this one is not in this category, okay? This now consider one uh, participle uh, adjective because wonderful is just the spelling is different. But then, if we want to look for the ing, right? Ing or ed, right? These are the one you already said to me. Now, um, it's. Do you have any questions about this or any vocabulary or pronunciation? Well, this one is based on, based on. I heard something different. Anything else that you want to ask from this conversation, guys? Meaning, are we fine with meaning? Are we fine with pronunciation? Actually, I like the way uh, the two ladies pronounce it. Just a few observations. No? Okay, then let's do something. Uh, because because of time, we have like five more minutes, I think, or, or a little bit more. I, let me see, yes, like eight or nine minutes. So let's work on this activity. Let me, let me show it to you right now, let's see. Um, well, look at this one, guys. Some other examples before we do that. So examples of participles as adjectives. I am bored or I'm bored because the film is boring, okay? I'm bored when um, I'm with Tom because he is boring. I was excited at the oh. concert because it was exciting. Okay, so these are some other adjectives, some other examples of how to use ed and ing forms. Okay, can you see the difference in this sentence? Can you do me a favor? Can you create? Uh, one example using ed and ing to see if it makes sense. I'll, I'll give you uh, two or three minutes and then share it on the chat, please. With the same adjective. Now with this, you, you can do it with the same adjective, but if you can think about any other adjective that you might know, uh, do it, please. Okay, right. thank you. All right. Okay, what do you have? Can you share with me? Okay, I think somebody has sent a message. I am amazed because expression is amazing, yes. Yes, Angie, correct. Only check the spelling of because, because there's a spelling mistake, but then yes, exposition is amazing. You are amazed, right, exactly. You're just looking at the products they're selling and then or any 
maybe art exhibition and then you are amazed because it is amazing. All right, good. Uh, one more or two more, please, because I want to uh, give you one activity for you to do it. Um, after this, let's see. I am annoyed because yesterday I was here. And I... <laughs> okay, I am annoyed because yesterday I was in an annoying discussion. Yet, so you still feel annoyed, right? Okay, good. That's a good one, Jeffer. One more, please. Emma is interested in aircrafts because aeronautics, aeronautics is interesting, okay? The science, right? Or this field, okay, interesting. Airplanes, right? Good, I can see. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks guys, I have like five more minutes and I want to, uh, okay, I have another one here. Great, Gustavo said, I was alarmed at the airplane because my co-worker my co-workers were, because his co-workers is plural, my co-workers were alarming. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, I can see. Um, I can see, I like it. All right, let's move on. Okay, this is the, uh, this is the, the homework for tomorrow. So maybe you want to screenshot this and if, and you can, start deciding or I want you to decide which adjective goes in these blanks, okay? And then apply ing or apply ed, okay? So if you think the first blank is annoying or annoying, okay, or annoyed. So basically the two options are annoyed and annoying. So go ahead, please screenshot. We have like some time maybe one more minute if you want to ask questions. But as of now, a screenshot, please. And we're gonna talk about this tomorrow, the answers. Maybe somebody can screenshot and send it to the group for those who didn't connect today for any reason. That, that would be great if you guys can do that. So what's the homework for tomorrow, guys? The homework for tomorrow, thank you, is to complete this uh, paragraph using these adjectives. And you need to decide if it is ing or if it is ed, okay? That will be it. Uh, try to, um, you, you have to use them only once, okay? Only once. And then, um, please try to make sense of, of this, okay? Try to read it like maybe once or two times and then you decide which is the best answer, okay? So that's gonna be it for today or do you have any any questions, guys, okay, before we finish today's session? Angie, any questions? No, are we fine? Jose, Wendy, Reina, Cristina, Daniel, Emma, Maribel, Jeffer, Evelyn, Daniel, Gustavo, Hosman, Jenny, questions? No. Okay. no. Are we fine? No, we right. just need no, to right. All is good. Nice. Yes. Thank you. You just need to uh, fill or complete this paragraph using the adjectives, okay, in ED or ING. And then we'll talk about this tomorrow. Well, guys, thank you so much for connecting. Please try to participate as much as possible. If you can, uh, if you have your cameras working, turn on your camera. It's a way to be present, to be present in the class. It's a way to be here, focus on the class as well. Well, have a nice night and take care, Marbel. Take care, take care, Daniel. And see you tomorrow. Bye bye, Jeffrey. Bye bye, Daniel. Bye. See ya. Bye bye. Bye bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye bye.